No, no, it's not August. This is for September. Lord, help me. Ugh, there's so many books I need on my TBR. Just get this rolling. Hello, my beauties. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name's Janelle. And if you're not new here, hi, my name's still Janelle. Thank you so much for being here. So today, once again, we have my TBR raffle game for the month of September. We are moving into the spooky fall season and I am so, so excited. I love fall. I love the spooky season. So today we don't have much. I do have a lot of books that I need on my TBR next month, um, but I'm just going to play the game and if it works out, it works out. If not, it doesn't. But I will say, as for last month, I have finished all of the books on my TBR for last month, so I don't need to pull out of the Jar of Doom for this month. Um, I'm not going to talk about the books that I read because I read all the books on my TBR plus more books, um, so I'm not going to talk about those in this video. I'm going to make a completely separate video um, for my August wrap-up. So yeah, just keep that in mind. That will be coming up soon, so keep your eyes open for that. Um, but before we get into the game, make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already. You really won't regret it. We have such a blast over here and I just love having you guys here. So make sure to hit the big red button if you haven't yet. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the game. Um, for those wondering, I used an app called Raffle Name um, for my TBR, so that's how I'm doing this. Um, I know that some of you have asked in the comments, so I just wanted to go ahead and say that for this video. Um, and if you don't know the rules of this game, it's pretty simple and you'll definitely catch on, but I will link specifically July's, I think it was July, June or July. I'll link one of those videos in the description box so that you can check out that video because I explain all of the rules because I changed them recently. So yeah, if you're confused, you'll probably catch on. It's easy enough, but if you're confused we're just going to spin the wheel six times and we're going to get a prompt and i'm going to pick a book based on the prompt and i have added a few prompts in here because i am planning on participating in the magical readathon for book roast thing um i'm really really excited about it i've i didn't ever get to participate in any of the owl readathons um, and it's because i really wasn't into the book the community at that point but also she's discontinued it for i mean understandable reasons um, so she's made up her whole new, like her whole own world and it's so much fun. So I do have some prompts in here, um, so that I can hopefully get to participate. If not, I'm going to read the books anyways. Yeah. I don't think there's anything that needs to be said. Let's go ahead and do spin number one. Oh, first winner is TBR Vet been on my TBR for a long time. Oh my gosh, I don't know. Okay, so for TBR Vet, I am going to be choosing Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. This has been on my TBR for probably a year at this point, um, and I have yet to read it. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this for the month of September, and I'm really excited about it, because I've been wanting to read this for a long time. So yeah, I'm very excited. Let's do it. Let's have some strange and dreamy vibes. Okay, second spin. Oh, Author of Color. Okay, so this is a book that I was hoping to get on my TBR for this month because it is the uh, Patreon buddy read for Mel Reads Discord. And it is Witch is Steeped in Gold by, I think it's pronounced Sion and Smart. Um, but so this is the gorgeous fairy loot edition that was kindly given to me by one of my co-workers so I have it and I'm really really excited to read this um, I was hoping this would get on my TBR um, but that makes me super super excited this is a stunning stack so far we're doing so good so far okay third spin please be nice to me takes place in a different country. This next book is another book that I was hoping to get um, on my TBR this month because I'm doing a special video for it. Um, but that is The Invisible Life of Adèle Rue by V.E. Schwab. So this takes place in France, which is a different country than where I live. 
Um, so yes. So for those that don't know, I the first time I read this, I DNF'd it. Um, see, see how I stopped? Yeah. Um, but for this book, I am doing a special vlog where I go back and I'm gonna be reading it. So I'm actually really, really, really excited about it. I think the first time I went into this book, I was in the wrong headspace and it just like was not what I was expecting. But now I have a different expectation for it, so I think it's gonna be better. Um, but yeah, so really, really excited that this is on my TBR as well. Okay, so far, we're, it's just a nice time over here, but I have a feeling it's going to end very, very shortly. Fourth spin. Stay on a good streak. Most recent, I'm gonna do it. This is really working out well for me, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so this next book, most recent, I'm going to be choosing No Exit by Taylor Adams. So this I'm, is part of the same special vlog that Ada LaRue is a part of. So I needed this on my TBR so that it makes that video a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, I just recently purchased, purchased this. If you guys saw my book shopping video that just went up, I'm pretty sure it's like the video before this. Um, I bought this so this is as recent as it gets so i'm really really excited not excited that it's a mass market paperback but i am excited for the story because someone loves this and i'm excited to read it okay fifth spin oh, yeah fifth oh book set in a forest or outside So I just recently went over to my friend and her fiance's house, Jonathan and I did, last night for dinner and I was just like rummaging through her bookshelves and just looking at all the books that she had and I found this book on her shelf and I like was immediately like just in love with it. I thought it was so gorgeous and I couldn't get past it and it is Emma by Jane Austen so I just think this is absolutely stunning. It is just so like no, it's just so classical looking and I love it. So I'm definitely going to be putting this on the TBR for best cover because I mean, wow. Okay, now hopefully the last spin. Let's see what we get. Eighth winner is book with branches on the cover. Okay, but like, why is this TBR working out so perfectly? Like, please tell me. So for this prompt, I'm really, really excited because I debated for best cover, I debated between Emma by Jane Austen and this book. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna go with the classic because I never get opportunities to read classics. And this one actually fits this prompt as well. And that is The House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune. So this obviously, we have some branches right here on the cover. Um, but I am really, really excited about this one. I have heard so many good things and I actually started this at one point and I think I was up to like page 70 and really, really liked it. Like I genuinely was enjoying it, but I was reading it for a 24 hour readathon and as soon as that was over, I like didn't pick it back up again for some reason, I don't know. Um, so I'm really, really excited to, I guess, start this again. So um, yeah, so I'm gonna be reading this in the month of September and I'm really really excited. Okay, this will be our lovely September TBR. I seriously you guys could not be happier about this. Like this is a stunning stack and I seriously am so ready for September. Like literally bring it on. This is gonna be a good month if I can finish all of them, which I feel like I can, but Okay, well, that is all of the books that are going to be on my September TBR. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I cannot wait to see you in my next one.